George Rose, mate. That was a, a good little atmosphere up there. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, yeah, it was a good vibe. I, everybody made weight. That's a that's the first thing I'm happy about. Uh, everyone made weight, so we've got a we've got a great fight night ahead of us tomorrow night. Um, I got nervous with uh, with Troy and Isaac. Yeah, they um, I, you know, I, I love the the little bit argy bargy, but that headbutt came a little bit hard, and I thought, shit, I don't want someone split before the fight. So. Um, yeah, they, they regathered themselves, got their flex on, and I, I think that's that's a really high-energy fight. Yeah, Nikita looks extremely sort of focused, like he wants to make a statement in this fight. Do you think he's sort of, this one's personal for him? Uh, yes and no, yes and no. I think I think that he, he really wants this win, um, and he approaches every fight the same, that he, that he really wants to get that win. But, you know, the talk leading up to it, um, all of the little things that have sort of happened the last few weeks... I think he'd, he'd love to, to be able to make a statement. Um, I know that the team will hope that he sticks to the game plan and, and, and follows the plan that they have. But, um, you know, young guys, big energy. It's easy for the game plan, game plan to go astray and, um, you know, the punches to just fly. And I think both of these guys have got power that, that would stand there and, and, and have no fear in standing there and trading blows. Now, um, Glenn Jennings just went on a bit of a tirade about the, uh, the Team Biggs' sort of issues with the scales, the, the ring walk. Um, you know, Glenn's pissed off. Yeah, I, I liked it. I liked hearing Glenn pissed off because it's, um, you know, sometimes we have them conversations. We always reach a resolution, but it's good to see that when, when Glenn's, you know, when he wants to speak his mind, he speaks it. And, and he had every right to say everything that he said too because, um, you know, it's, it, it has sort of been a, a bit of a tricky last few weeks and last you know last few days in particular in that you know the the officials are being questioned the uh, the scales are being questioned the walkouts are being questioned and at the end of the day um, they're going to end up in the ring mm. and the and a champion's going to be decided mm. what, what a journey for both of these guys like so tomorrow night will determine a lot in terms of both their careers both undefeated and couldn't be a more perfect opponent for Nikita at this stage. I think so. I think a, a guy like uh, Dylan is really going to test him. A guy who's got power like that, um, <laughs> anything can happen. And then there's a chance that you're going to face serious adversity. Um, if you get caught, there's a chance you get caught. Um, I think he showed in the Brubaker fight that he, that he can take that and bounce back and, and put on a good performance. And, um, but I think, I think the, the key for both of them is, is not getting caught. And I think that's what the plan will be for Nikita is, is a really strong defence um, and then unleash that, that knockout power, that mighty left hand. What about the head splitter? He's back. He always puts on a show. He's been talking it up all week. Um, yeah. Up against Troy, his first fight in Australia. It'll be a good one. Yeah, look, this is a good fight for Isaac. Um, chance to win a, a WBO regional title as well, which is really important for him uh, as he wants to get back on that world scene. And I think in the in the middleweight division, I think there's there's opportunities there. There's, there's fights that he can win. Um, there, there's definitely fights that he can win. So I, I think um, a win here for Isaac sets him up for, for a great 2024 as well. What's on the what's at stake here for Nikita? There's talk about him potentially fighting on this um, zoo card in Vegas next year. What are the, what's at stake for Nikita? Well, a, a win here tells us that he's ready for international opponents. Um, that that you you head to Vegas knowing that that he can take on tough guys, that he can take on international options, and um, that's that's what we'll get from this fight is knowing where Nikita's at and what he's ready for next. Yeah. Stacked undercard. Who are you most excited for? I, th I think the heavyweights. I, I always love heavyweights. They're um, one shot. You know, that's what, that's what I love about them. Is that one shot changes everything. Uh, I, I think it's going to be a really good fight too. Both guys are ready to to take down the Australian heavyweight uh, contenders, and um, I think that'll be one. Thanks so much, George. Thanks, guys. Cheers.